All right, guys, here's what we're cooking today. We got some blue catfish and we got some walleye here. We caught this this spring. Um, we're just starting this out and I don't have the catch on film, but I'll get that for you next time. Stay tuned to the next video. There's a little bit more of that in there. That's going to be awesome. Don't miss out. So we got our fish. We got our hot sauce. We got our flour. We got our oil, our milk, potato chips. Always got to have the wavy original. And some eggs. So don't forget the eggs. Put your fish in a bag of hot sauce and then put that in your fridge for 30 minutes. All right, we got our oil in there warming up now. We're gonna warm that up slowly. We're gonna start at 200 degrees and about after 10 minutes, I'm gonna turn that up to 375. And when I drop the fish in there, I'm gonna actually drop it down to 325 after I get it all in there. Well, we got our oil heating up. We're gonna make a little egg wash here. A couple of eggs, a little bit of milk, maybe a little bit more. And uh, we're gonna whisk that up real quick. This is gonna be the plate that we're gonna drop our fish in. First, we're gonna drop it in the flour after we pull it out of the hot sauce then we are uh, going to drop it in this egg wash and then we're going to drop it and shake it up in the uh, potato chip and flour mix and then we're going to put it in the hot oil now we got our flour and our flour potato chip mix We're going to take these fish, small chunks of walleye, we're going to throw them in here real quick. All that hot sauce. 
I like to let that fish sit in that hot sauce in the fridge because that coldness really makes it hold on really well. So as we get, actually I want to put air in here. Keep a little air in there, it shakes it up a lot better. So we're gonna make sure that gets in there and that fish really nice and well. We can do all this while the, the oil's heating up. So we're done with that hot sauce for now. Oh, there's a piece of fish in there still. So uh, this is nugget size. This is my favorite way to eat it. Um, so I'm gonna actually use this for the catfish as well, but I'm gonna set that aside for now. For this video, I'm just doing uh, the walleye. I'm gonna cook it both the same way, but I'm probably gonna clean my oil out, possibly, because that's a lot of fish. So, all right, we got it. We got it in the flour. We're gonna take it from the flour to the egg wash to the flour potato chip mix. in that real quick. Kind of just move it around a little bit. Get that excess, excess off there. This is where it gets good. I only do a couple at a time to get that other mix sticking to it. Now this is absolutely going to destroy the oil in here, but it's going to be pretty damn good. So we're only going to do like three pieces in there, mix it up, we'll do like three more. We just want to keep the, the fish from really touching itself or touching another piece. Um, I should probably edit that out. <laughs> from touching another piece, well, it's in this part. Let me show you what this looks like right now. There's a little hanger, but that would be fine. That is going to be good. All right, I got my tongs ready. You gotta have them ready, man, because these are gonna fry up quick. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put these on another plate. That way I can put them in there quick and they all cook to the right temperature. I mean, look at this crust, man. You can tell that's gonna be freaking amazing. This is the proper way to cook fish with potato chips. I mean, if you have another way, you can definitely let me know. I would, I'm interested in knowing. Um, this is my own personal way I kind of put together over the years. I This is not my original idea, but this is my original personal recipe. So, I have never seen anybody do it like this. Now I'm gonna only do like a few pieces at a time because if you put too much fish in the oil at once, um, it just doesn't get crispy. And I want some crispy fish, so. So while that's starting here, we're gonna finish this egg wash here. Get all these fish all washed up in the eggs. So I'm, I know I said I'm going to turn that down, but it just isn't indicating that it needs to go down yet. Um, I can use the sound of grease here to uh, tell what's going on. Uh, the more you cook, this is about ready, about ready to flip. I'm going to flip this over here. I'm going to show you guys. 
you can see it's just cooking nice and slow. So if it was cooking fast, I would turn it down already. This is gonna be so good. See now, you can hear it picking up. It's sizzling, sizzling a lot more. So I wanted to slow it down a little bit to get it that that nice steady cook. We don't want to we don't want to cook it too fast because we want that inside to get nice and cooked as well. Can you hear that difference? That's a nice steady cook right there. While this is cooking up, I just want to tell you guys, next week we're doing the wildest pasta you've ever heard of. So definitely hit that subscribe button. You, I mean, you, you don't need to, but this is some good stuff. Check it out. So the key reason why you don't want to cook this too fast is because it has all that ingredient on it. And if you cook it too fast, you're just going to burn the outside. And uh, we're just avoiding that. So you can see that bubble is rolling. You just kind of want it at a, a nice steady roll. And this is starting to brown up real nice. I can tell. It's, I could probably eat it like this, but we're just going to wait a little bit longer. It's not going to overcook. The outsides will burn before it overcooks. So that's a great thing about having this nice crust on here. That's so good. Look at that. When, when all of it's nice and brown like this, both sides, and it's floating, you know you did a good job. Alright, these are definitely done. Uh, they're talking to me. They're telling me, pull me out of here. They're starting to float around. That's an uh, indication that they uh, want to get out of the damn heat. It's too hot. So you can hear my dog. She still wants some of this. I don't know if I'm going to share with her or not. Because this stuff is too dang good, man. Look at that. It's gonna be so good. I'm trying to record doing this. I like to keep it all together. That way it just holds its heat. What I'll do is I'll actually, uh, instead of doing that, I'm gonna take another plate. Put it on top of there. Look at that. Golden brown and crispy, man. Hoo doggy. Hmm.